please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Title, Dropping WX Python in Pi 2 app for Snow Leopard. Introduction. In this tutorial, we will explore how to create standalone Mac OS applications using Pi 2 app, while excluding the WX Python framework for Snow Leopard, OS X 10.6. This is useful when targeting older Mac OS versions that do not have native support for WX Python. Requirements Step 1, Install Required Packages First, ensure you have Python 2.7 installed, and WX Python for development. You can install Py2 app using pip. Step 2, Create a WX Python application. For this tutorial, we will create a simple WX Python application. Create a Python script, example my underscore app.py, with the following content. Step 3, create a setup script. To configure Py2 app, you need to create a setup script. In the same directory as your application script, create a file named setup.py with the following content. Step 4, Build the application. Now, you can build your application using Py2 app. This command will create a standalone app in the dist directory. However, this app will include the WX Python framework, which is unnecessary for Snow Leopard. Step 5, Exclude WX Python framework. To exclude the WX Python framework, you need to edit the info.plist file inside the generated app bundle. Use the property list editor or a text editor to open info.plist located in dist slash myapp.app slash contents. Remove the Python key with the WX value, as this tells the app to include the WX Python framework. It should look like this. Step 6, Repackage the application. After editing the info.plist file, repackage the application. This will convert the binary info.plist file to XML format, making it editable. Now, WX Python is excluded from the app. Step 7, Test the application. You can now test your app on Snow Leopard without the need to install WX Python separately. Conclusion this tutorial explained how to create standalone Mac OS applications using Py2 app while excluding the WX Python framework, making the app compatible with older Mac OS versions like Snow Leopard. It involved creating a WX Python app, configuring Py2 app, and manually editing the info.plist file in the generated app bundle. Chat GPT Title Building Mac OS Applications with Py2 App, Snow Leopard, Without WX Python Introduction Py2 App is a useful tool for packaging Python applications as standalone Mac OS applications. However, due to the age of Snow Leopard, OS X 10.6, it lacks support for the WX Python library, which is a popular GUI toolkit for Python. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to build a Py2 app application without WX Python on Snow Leopard. Prerequisites Step 1, Create your Python application. For this tutorial, let's assume you have a Python application you want to package. Make sure it runs correctly on your Snow Leopard system. If it uses WX Python for the GUI, you'll need to replace it with a supported library, example tkinter. Step 2, Organize your project. Create a folder for your project and place your Python script, s, inside it. Ensure that all your dependencies are either included within your project folder or are available system-wide. Step 3, Create a setup.py file. Py2 app requires a setup.py script to define the application's metadata and dependencies. Here's a basic setup.py example. 
replace your underscore script.py with the name of your main Python script and customize the packages and includes lists as needed. Step 4, Build your application. Open a terminal and navigate to your project folder. Run the following command to build your Py2 app application. This will create a DIST folder in your project directory containing your standalone application. Step 5, Test your application. Open the application from the DIST folder and verify that it works as expected. If your application depends on specific system libraries, make sure they are available on your target system. Step 6, Distribute your application. You can distribute your application by compressing the .app bundle and sharing it with others. They can run your application on Snow Leopard without needing to install any additional dependencies. Conclusion By following this tutorial, you can build Mac OS applications with Pi2 app on Snow Leopard without using WX Python. Remember that Snow Leopard is an outdated Mac OS version, and its support for modern libraries and features is limited. It's recommended to consider upgrading your operating system and using more up-to-date Python and library versions for better compatibility and security. ChatGPT Pi2 app is a convenient tool for converting Python applications into standalone Mac OS applications. However, as of my last knowledge update in September 2021, Pi2 app and WX Python can have compatibility issues on older Mac OS versions like Snow Leopard, OS X 10.6. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to create a standalone Mac OS application using Pi2 app while addressing the issue of dropping WX Python on Snow Leopard. Note, Snow Leopard, OS X 10.6, is an outdated Mac OS version, and support for it may be limited due to its age. This tutorial provides guidance on creating a Pi2 app application compatible with Snow Leopard, but it's always recommended to use more recent Mac OS versions for application development if possible. If you haven't already, you need to install Pi2 app. You can install it using pip. For this tutorial, we'll create a simple hello. WX Python application. Create a file named hello underscore wx.py and add the following code. You'll need a setup.py script to configure Pi2 app. Create a file named setup.py and add the following. Now, let's use Pi2 app to build the Mac OS application. Open your terminal and navigate to the directory where your hello underscore wx.py and setup.py files are located. Run the following command to build the application. To make the Pi2 app generated application compatible with Snow Leopard, you'll need to use a specific version of WX Python that is compatible with it. As of my last knowledge update in September 2021, you can use an older version of WX Python, such as version 3.0.2.0, which is known to be compatible with Snow Leopard. You can install this specific version using pip. After installing the compatible WX Python version, you can test your application. Navigate to the DIST directory created by Py2 app when you build the application. Run your application. You should see a simple WX Python window with the text Hello, WX Python. By following these steps and using the specific version of WX Python, you can create a Pi2 app based Mac OS application that is compatible with Snow Leopard. However, please note that support for Snow Leopard is limited, and using a more recent Mac OS version is recommended for better compatibility and security. Chat GPT. Title, Updating Your WX Python App for Snow Leopard, A Guide to Pi2 App with Code Examples. Mac OS Snow Leopard, also known as Mac OS 10.6, introduced significant changes to the operating system, affecting the way certain applications are packaged. 
One notable framework impacted by these changes is WX Python, a popular GUI toolkit for Python applications. If you're facing issues with Py2 app dropping support for WX Python on Snow Leopard, this tutorial will guide you through the process of updating your WX Python application to ensure compatibility with Snow Leopard. Make sure you are using a version of WX Python that is compatible with Snow Leopard. Check the official WX Python website for the latest version that supports Mac OS 10.6. Ensure your WX Python code is compatible with the updated version. Check for any deprecated or obsolete functions that might cause issues on Snow Leopard. Update your code base accordingly. Py2 app has dropped support for WX Python on Snow Leopard. To work around this, you can use an older version of Py2 app that still supports Snow Leopard. Install the compatible version using pip. Create a setup.py script for Py2 app, specifying your WX Python application file as the main script. Title, Creating Mac OS Applications with Py2 App Without WX Python, Snow Leopard. Introduction In this tutorial, we will explore how to create Mac OS applications using Py2 App on Snow Leopard without including WX Python as a dependency. Py2 app is a powerful tool that allows you to package Python applications into standalone Mac OS apps. This tutorial is intended for those who want to create applications for older Mac OS systems, Snow Leopard in particular, without the need for the WX Python library. Prerequisites Step 1, Set up your project. Create a directory for your project and organize your code as needed. Your project structure might look like this. Step 2. Install required dependencies. To create a Mac OS app without WX Python, you'll need to use the tkinter library for the GUI. Since tkinter is included with Python, you don't need to install any additional dependencies. Step 3. Create a Py2 app configuration file. Create a setup.py file in your project directory. This file contains the configuration settings for Py2 app. In this setup file. Step 4. Build your application. Open a terminal and navigate to your project directory. Use the following command to build your application. This command will create a dist directory with your standalone Mac OS application. Step 5, Test Your Application Navigate to the DIST directory and run your application to ensure it works as expected. Your application should open, and you can interact with it. Step 6, Distribute Your Application Once you've confirmed that your application works, you can distribute it to others. You can package the main.app directory into a .dmg file for easy distribution. Conclusion In this tutorial, you've learned how to create Mac OS applications using Py2 app without including WX Python as a dependency. By using tkinter and the Py2 app tool, you can create standalone Mac OS applications that work on Snow Leopard. This is especially useful for developing applications for older Mac OS systems or when you want to minimize dependencies. ChatGPT Title, Building Mac OS Applications with WX Python and Py2 App on Snow Leopard Introduction Py2 App is a popular tool used to package Python applications into standalone Mac OS applications. However, with the release of newer versions, there have been compatibility issues, especially with older systems like Snow Leopard, Mac OS 10.6. This tutorial aims to guide you through the process of building Mac OS applications using WX Python and Py2 app specifically for Snow Leopard. Prerequisites Step 1 Install Py2 app. First, ensure you have pip installed. Then, 
install the compatible version of Pi 2 app for Snow Leopard using the following command. Step 2, create a WX Python application. Create a simple WX Python application. For example, let's create a basic Hello World application. Save this code in a file named main.py. Step 3, create a setup script. Create a setup.py script to configure Pi2 app. This script tells Pi2 app how to build your application. Here's an example setup.py script for our WX Python application. Step 4, build the application. In the terminal, navigate to the directory containing your main.py and setup.py files. Run the following command to build your application. This command packages your WX Python application into a Mac OS application bundle. Step 5, test the application. Once the build process is complete, navigate to the DIST directory within your project folder. You will find the generated .app bundle there. Test the application on your Snow Leopard system to ensure it works as expected. Congratulations! You have successfully built a WX Python application using Pi2 app on Snow Leopard. Please note that it's crucial to use the specified versions of Pi2 app and follow the steps outlined in this tutorial for compatibility with Snow Leopard. ChatGPT